to pay attention to. We're going to be talking about it over the next few days. Since Matt is on here, I hope he's, uh, hope he's still watching. Interesting topic that came up over the weekend between myself and a few other guys. MLB injuries. And we knew that bringing guys back in with a, a shortened training period, a shortened camp, we knew it was going to be a problem in NBA. We knew it would be a problem in the NFL. Had a feeling it was going to probably happen in Major League Baseball. Uh, Damien said, MLB trying to kill sports again. Damn. <laughs> I don't know if it's again, but y- yeah, I-, I feel where you're coming from. Justin Verlander, the ace for the Houston Astros. Uh, Michael said, I know it's because Chris is gone, but I like the topics on the screen, just FYI. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Whenever we get to do the show in person again, it will still be there. We just don't have enough room on on the other screen. So, the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Um, so, with Justin Verlander, the ace for the Houston Astros, being out, it was reported that he was out for the year. He came out on Twitter and said, the report that I'm currently missing the rest of the season is not accurate. There is a forearm strain. I'm hopeful that so, uh, with some rest it will heal and I'll be able to return soon. Thank you all for the well wishes. Now, a forearm strain is a muscle that is actually connected to the elbow. That's an issue. That is an elbow problem. That's what they uh, that's what it was reported as. They are saying that he is out for at least 2 to 3 weeks and then they're going to try to they're going to test him again and see what, how it feels, etc. The other major injury is Corey Kluber. Um, a Joseph Gomez said, if your name is on at the me- or if your name is on the menu at a strip club, you got bigger problems. Yeah. Matt said it UCL strain. Let's talk about Corey Kluber for a second. Um, and I I haven't seen the website that's got it listed, but he had a, a tear in a muscle in his shoulder. He is shut down for at least four weeks. In a typical major league baseball season, not that big of a deal, right? He got one inning of work in in his Rangers debut. Remember, he was traded from the Indians to the Rangers back in December. He got one inning in and then was taken out. He's now shut down for four weeks at least. In a situation like that, that's almost half the season. I mean, that is a long time. Michael said karma is uh, karma is a you-know-what in the case of Verlander. Yeah, yeah. And we can go that direction if we want to go that direction. But with Verlander and with Kluber... These are two incredibly important parts of pitching staffs. They just are. Uh, I don't know how else to explain it. They mean a ton to these franchises. Without them, I mean, the Rangers last year were seventh from the bottom in ERA. That matters a ton. Uh, Joseph says, WCE has got anatomy 101. What's connected to the neck bone? Hey, that's why we got Matt on here. Uh, Matt said, it can be they want to save him for next year. Yeah, if you just want to throw away this season, that's fine. Like, I, I could see a lot of players doing that. And I could see, once you have an injury like this, you know, you just say, all right, well, we're going to try and bring him back. But I doubt that they do. Matt said, they blow up the injuries now, then get surgery. By the time they return, they won't have enough time to get to training camp. Yeah, and that could be another issue. Who knows how they're going to do this? Who knows what they're going to and, and this is just the beginning. Just the beginning, because you're going to see a ton of these injuries because they they haven't been training. They haven't, at least not properly, or at least not the way that you are supposed to, to get ready for a, a baseball season. And we all know that injuries happen in baseball anyway. But I think that this year you are going to see a ton more injuries. And as Matt told us, a lot of soft tissue injuries, a lot of muscle injury, you know, things like that. It won't be a bunch of broken bones and whatever else. It's going to be stuff because... They have not had time to properly train to get ready for a season. Or they started training, and they were ready, and then they had to shut it down, and now when you try and bring it back, it's just not possible. Joseph Gomez, hamstring's going to blow up on these big boys. Yeah, a lot of them. A lot of them. Matt said the higher intensity required to play a game is way different than practice. It absolutely is. And and with these two major names in Major League Baseball, we're going to see more. I think we're going to see a lot more, and that sucks. It is a big-time problem, but we will continue to watch so long as they've got it on TV. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You guys have been fantastic. A little bit shorter show than usual, but we've gone about 30 minutes, so 
With Chris gone, it may be like that for the next couple of days. Michael said, not sure if you saw this. Pretty amazing of the Rangers to allow Sam Hilliard's father, who has ALS, to come and watch his first opening day start. Sam grew up a Rangers fan and attending games with his dad. With all the negative in the world this year, moments like this are why I love sports so much. I completely missed it. Completely missed it, but it sounds amazing. So I will have to go and search for that. So anybody that wants to search it out, Rangers and Sam Hilliard's father, Sam Hillard's father, um, go check that out. Go check that out. I'm going to do that as soon as we get off the show. Uh, and once I get done, actually posting everything. <laughs> so you guys have been fantastic. Everybody in the chat, thank you so much for jumping in today. With it just being me, I know it's not the same. I understand. But I'm trying. I'm trying to do this thing. You guys, come on back in tomorrow. Of course, it'll be around the same time. I think around 4, 4.30, somewhere in there, central time. Make sure that you've got your dial set. Make sure you are subscribed on Periscope, Twitch, Facebook, or YouTube. We'll be on all of the different, uh, different platforms. And and make sure you are subscribed to the podcast. If you miss the live show, you can always go back and listen to it. It's a quick listen. You put it on whatever speed you want to, and you can fly right through it. But, uh, but yeah, I do appreciate you guys for jumping in. Go over to winningcureseverything.com. You can find everything you need to know there. Matt says yeet. Michael says thanks, Gary Giggum. And absolutely go check out sportsbookreview.com. That is where we will have all of our college football content beginning in August. August is this Saturday. So we will have content out this weekend. We will have content out next week. All sorts of good stuff. Now, we're going to keep our NFL stuff, our Major League Baseball, NBA, whatever. We're going to keep that all right here on Winning Cures Everything. But all of that other stuff, college football-wise, will be over at sportsbookreview.com, sbrpicks.com, etc. Monster X Gaming 652 said, what are you talking about right now? We are ending the show right now. But if you'll go back and get the podcast or just watch the replay of this, you will be good to go. Joseph said, WCE with the consistency. You better believe it, brother. Absolutely better believe it. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you so much for jumping in. As always, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, 